Everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and I have a no sew cupcake pillow craft for you today. I am not a sewer. I come from a long line of sewers, but it just didn't seem to take with me. I can't even thread my sewing machine right. I have one, but I don't ever use it because I always get a big old clump on the bottom. So we're going to do something easier. We're just going to use glue and create a pillow. I have my fabric here, and I'm going with fleece. I have polka dot, a pink polka dot fleece because I think it kind of looks like sprinkles already so that makes us not have to do sprinkles and I have the blue because I wanted it to be the blue bottom and then I have some red for the cherry on top and I have way more red than I need. So I want this to be a pretty decent size and I'm going to use a pencil and this fleece is the same on both sides so you don't have to worry about which side you're working on. I'm going to take a pencil and draw the base of the cupcake. Now you can make these any size you want. You can even do little party favors of little mini cupcakes too. So I'm taking my scissors and these are my scissors that I reserve for cutting fabric because the other ones that I have tend to be a little bit oh, dull and used on everything under the sun. So. I have my fabric double also so that I have two pieces that are the exact same shape and size. I'm going to fold it over like this and this will give me a pretty good shot at getting it pretty symmetrical. There we go. Now we have two cupcake bases. Now I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to break out this fleece. And the, again, this has the same pattern on both sides so you don't have to worry about which side is in and which side is out. Now I'm going to do the same with this pink fabric. You can freehand it or not freehand it, it's up to you. I'm going to freehand it and I'm going to use the base here just to make sure that I have the right width for my cupcake top. Alright, so I want it to go kind of around like this. I'm going to just start to cut. Now what I'm going to do is just cut some of this fabric off to get over there and I'm going to fold that piece in half so I get it the same shape like I did with the base. So I'm going to fold that in half and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And now I have my two pieces of the cupcake top. And then here is the bottom. You can kind of see it starting to come together a little bit. Alright, there's the top and the bottom. You can kind of see it starting to come together a little bit. I need to trim some of this off, but I'm not going to trim all of it off. I'm going to kind of even it out. Um, I like that line at the bottom just because then it gives me something to glue the blue part to. And you can sew this if you want, but for, for me this is a no sew option. Now we're going to have to start gluing stuff together. But before I do that, we're going to make a cherry for the top. And I'm just going to free kind of free cut it. And this is going to then go tucked in on the top. Now we need to start gluing. I've got my glue gun all heated up. i got my little fabric pieces ready to go. And if you're using a different fabric that has a different inside than outside, the part that you want to show on the outside is currently what you want to have on the inside because we're going to flip it all, flip it all out. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the pink parts here to the blue. So I'm going to take this one out. And I'm going to want the blue line on the outside so I know I need to tuck this in to about there. And I'm going to take my hot glue and I want to make a thin bead right along the top edge of the blue. You want to do short little lines because you don't want it to start to harden before you put your fabric down. Alright, there we go. And then 
continue from wherever you left off. So there is our first piece right there. That's what it looks like on the outside. So I'll put this one aside and do the same on this one. All right, now what we need to do is glue these two pieces together. You want the two pieces with the overlapping pink to be on the outside because we're going to put it back in and that's going to end up on the inside. So line them up. Now I'm going to start gluing this together. I'm going to leave a slit down in the middle of the bottom here. So I'll start on one side here, start gluing, press it together, and I'm going to do this around the whole thing. Now I'm going to leave an opening at the top for the cherry. I'm just going to see how much I need. And then let it cool. And this is a good time to go back and check, make sure that there aren't any holes or anything or spots that you might have missed. Now would be the time to fix any of that. Once the glue has cooled, it's time to turn it inside out. So I have a space at the bottom to be able to turn everything inside out just as you would if you were sewing. And here it is so far. So I've turned the cherry inside out and it really didn't turn out as round as I wanted. So I'm gonna put stuffing into it. All right, and there it is. Now I'm gonna take my top area here, which I left open for the cherry, and I'm gonna put this in there, tuck it in there nicely. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold these edges in. See, normally it would be like that because we have glued it. I'm going to fold them in so you're not going to have, you know, a raw edge there. And this is going to be tucked in. So kind of test it out, see if you like it. Here's my hot glue. And now I'm going to just glue this stuff together. So I'm going to put a bead of glue on the bottom part because I can see that the best. And I'll tuck this guy in. And then I'm going to repeat that on the top. Check the other side, make sure you're all tucked in and attached. Now you're good to go there. Now what I'm going to do is stuff the whole thing. Now that we're this far and we're all stuffed, we are going to fold over these edges just like this and glue it together. I dripped a tiny bit of hot glue there and I trimmed it off and you can leave it that way but you know you can see the flaw in the fabric so I have an easy fix for that. I'm going to just put a little hot glue there, try not to drip it anywhere else and I'm going to put a little bit of glitter on there and it'll look like it's supposed to be that way. And now the cupcake pillow is all finished. Our seams are nice and tight and it's stuffed and it's perfect to go on somebody's bed or on the couch even anywhere you want so i hope you guys like it um, let me know what you think and make sure to rate comment and subscribe let me know if there's any other um, pillows that you would like to see and we will definitely see you next time happy crafting